Godzilla X Kong or Godzilla and Kong, the new empire is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in theater. There's only been a handful of times that I felt like the theater owed me the time of my life back. And this is one of them. This movie was an atrocity. I thought it would at least be fun monster fights and the humans would be boring again because they've been kind of shit in all these movies, but the humans were stupid. The monster fights were lame. I'm not even sure how this movie got made the way that it did. The thing that I would praise would be the visuals. I had to see it in 3D because of the times. I will say that they filmed the whole thing in 3D. It worked very well, even though I'm not a fan of 3D. All the special effects looked really good, but the movie itself was just shit. To give you an idea, one of the first scenes of the movie is King Kong needs a dental appointment. So he goes from the hollow earth to the surface, lets himself be sedated, and they pull his tooth out and replace it with a magic metal. Godzilla is hardly in the movie at all. They treat him like he's a giant house pet. And you're supposed to root for Godzilla and be like, oh, he's kind of the hero. But when they show him, he's taking a nap in the Roman Colosseum. And they're like, oh, like you should be grateful he's just sleeping. And he's a good boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, as soon as he wakes up, he destroys half the city. Presumably killing thousands, if not more. And this is supposed to be like the hero that you're rooting for. They kind of try to do a story with Gia, the little deaf girl, but they don't really commit to it and they don't do much with it. She's supposed to be the last of her tribe and partway through the movie, you find out that some of her tribe lives in the hollow earth and they have these magic spears and shit. The whole thing is just insanely dumb. The main woman, Eileen, is also crazily stupid for a scientist. Like they're about to go to the hollow earth and she takes her deaf adopted daughter with her just kind of on a whim. And then she takes the essentially black Alex Jones conspiracy podcast guy. She's like, yeah, hop on. Like you can come too, no big deal. All the humans are super annoying. The movie itself is just stupid. They try to make Scar King, which is this orange King Kong, like this super evil villain, but he's like half the size of King Kong and looks kind of mangy. And all the apes that are following him look like homeless cats. Like all their hair is scraggly. They all look small and thin. If you've watched the show Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, they make Monarch seem completely incompetent. They rely on people in their early 20s who are not scientists to solve everything. And this movie just emphasizes that point again. I'm so tired of this trope where these giant corporations or the government or whoever have thousands of scientists expert level whatever working on a project and then our protagonists come in and solve it in like two seconds while they know nothing about science like it just makes them seem really stupid and this movie does that multiple times like they're trying to study the hollow earth and the conspiracy theorist podcast guy figures out the signal and the deaf girl figures it out from crazy drawings that she did when she had some kind of breakdown they made godzilla and king kong both like super athletic and not like big and lumbering and it doesn't help that this comes out a few months after godzilla minus one where the humans were the focal point of that story and obviously that movie was great and the humans were very interesting the messaging was very interesting and then you come to this and it's like oh we have resurrected mothra singing a song so that godzilla and king kong get along <laughs> and godzilla just eats a bunch of nuclear power and turns pink which, fine, whatever, but the entire movie is just full of stuff that's like, huh, well, that doesn't make much sense. And that's two hours that you just go through over and over of people being idiots. And really nothing interesting happens. Like, you get these really long scenes where King Kong is talking to the little orange baby monkey you've seen in the preview, and they're, like, signing and grunting and howling and whatever, but there's no subtitles, so you just kind of see their reactions, and you're like, oh, okay. But these scenes just go on and on and on. And it's just incredibly dumb. I hope that this is the last movie for this series. They need to reboot and just have Godzilla be the villain again. Because this series is so dumb. And it's fine if it's dumb and fun. But this movie is just stupid. It's not very fun. There's a couple parts that are supposed to be emotional. And I just busted out laughing in the theater. Because it's so cringy. So yeah, I'm not going to go too long on this. There's really not much to say. The movie is just awful. You shouldn't bother watching it. Maybe put it on to go to sleep and then you can watch it in like 
10 minute increments, but no one should spend their time or money on a movie that is this bad. It was absolutely horrendous. I can't believe that it got made the way that it did. I feel bad for all the special effects people and the actors and actresses who clearly put in a lot of work because it was wasted on a terrible movie. So if you want to watch Godzilla, go watch Godzilla Minus One, go watch Shin Godzilla. That'll be a better use of your time than watching this pile of crap. That's it for me for this one. I'm actually really pissed off. If you're here, like and subscribe and all that. I have memberships now because of the support from you guys. Right now, I only have one tier, and that's to let you guys recommend me stuff to watch, and I'll review it if you'd like. If you have suggestions for what I should actually do with the memberships, that would be fine with me. I have no clue what people are interested in. <laughs> I mainly just talk about stuff that I want to talk about. So I'm definitely open to hearing any suggestions to improve the channel, put out stuff that you guys want to hear, like and subscribe and all that. Thanks. See ya.